Stanford University. Africa for me is a, um, an endless source of fascination, inspiration, and challenge. I'm fascinated by the possibilities, inspired by the spirit, and challenged by the immensity of the problems that ache for solutions. Ten years ago, when I addressed the World Sustainable Development Summit in Johannesburg, I was more daunted by this challenge. I focused on my commitment to bringing aid to Africa, leading to the doubling of the aid agreed at the 2005 G8 Glen Eagle Summit and the cancellation of debt. Ten years on, though, my message is a lot more optimistic. As Garth was saying to you, the pace of change in Africa today is dizzying. Its population is going to double uh, by the mid-21st century. 70% of Africans are under the age of 30. In the last decade, six of the world's fastest growing economies were African. And foreign direct investment has grown sixfold over that time. Consumer spending over the next decade is set almost to double, and the middle class also to double, around about from 60 to 100 million people. The number of democracies also in sub-Saharan Africa has risen over the past 20 or 25 years from around three to 23. Deaths from malaria, HIV, AIDS, and measles have reduced dramatically, literally hundreds of thousands of lives being saved. Much of this is a result of the aid, which it's so crucial to maintain. The challenge, of course, is huge. Only one in four Africans have access to electricity, in countries like Malawi, the figure is more like one in 10. It is a continent rich in agricultural resources, but is a net food importer. And still, almost one million human beings die every year from preventable diseases, mainly women and young children. But today, the optimism we describe is not based on hope, but experience. Today. My focus is not only on what we can give, but how we can partner. Today, for me, governance, the capacity of African nations to make effective changes in the lives of their people, alongside that aid commitment, is the new approach to Africa. This is, in my judgment, what US and European policy should have at its center. And this approach is what I would call a kind of muscular, soft power diplomacy. It's using our technical expertise, our intellectual capital, our experience of what works in government, and using it in partnership with African leaders so that African nations can accelerate their development, replace aid with investment, and be masters of their own destiny. We have to join what is in our minds to what is in our hearts. Africa is waiting but it's also moving. And we need to be part of that move, celebrating it, but participating in it. And that's what we can do. That is actually the new approach to a new Africa. So let us go and do it. Thank you. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.